Do you ever wonder why people age and they start to look older? You know, there are several reasons for it, and most of it has to do with the accumulation of these dysfunctional and damaged organelles inside the body. This, in turn, makes your entire body more dysfunctional and accelerates aging by downregulating some of the essential life-sustaining processes inside yourself. If you want to know how to slow down aging, then check out this video about how to avoid lipofuscin accumulation. Now, if you're wondering, lipo what? Then don't worry, I'm gonna explain what it is and how it accelerates aging and how you can avoid it. One of the main wear and tear aging pigments is called lipofuscin. Lipofuscin is a golden brown looking granule pigment that contains protein, lipid and lysosomal accumulates. It's found in the liver, heart, muscle and nerve cells where it deranges the processing of healthy cells. It's like garbage and clutter that begins to accumulate. Come back. Lipofuscin or LF forms inside lysosomes that are organelles used to break down macromolecules and other particles via autophagy. Your body does a pretty good job in cleaning house with regular autophagy. Unfortunately, all of the parts can't be broken down, and that leads to the accumulation of lipofuscin. Why this happens is still unclear, but the main reason seems to be oxidative stress. Lipofuscin is cytotoxic because of its ability to incorporate redox-active transition metals, resulting in a redox-active surface. This promotes oxidative stress and reactive oxygen species. Lipofuscin in heart cells is associated with heart disease and sudden cardiac death. Melanin and lipofuscin are considered to be hallmarks of skin aging. Skin discoloration and spots indicate liver dysfunction and lipofuscin accumulation. Those yellowish brown spots on people's hands and face are called liver spots, but they're actually lipofuscin accumulation. LF also promotes neurodegeneration and other pathologies. It's a major risk factor for macular degeneration and loss of eyesight. Here are the things that promote the accumulation of lipofuscin. Oxidative stress, free radical damage of any kind injures the cells and impedes their functioning. Advanced glycation end products or AGEs, proteins and fats that promote oxidative stress, aging, inflammation and atherosclerosis. Cell senescence, accumulation of zombie cells that spread inflammation and oxidative stress. High iron levels, too much ferritin promotes lipofuscin formation because it reacts with other macromolecules inside lysosomes. More of the ferritin will also be left in the lysosomes after degradation. Zinc deficiency, zinc is important for immune and endocrine system functioning, thus it supports lysosomal degradation and autophagy. Polyunsaturated fats, PUFAs as they're called, are very easily oxidized and they tend to be inflammatory in humans. Peroxidation of PUFAs of cellular membranes by free radicals creates lipofuscin. Excess estrogen. Too much estrogen may amplify lipofuscin formation. It also increases iron absorption. Birth control pills also increase estrogen. Lipofuscin promotes aging and aging promotes the accumulation of lipofuscin. As you get older, your ability to clear out lipofuscin also decreases. And that predisposes you to more lipofuscin accumulation. It's like a vicious cycle. You get more lipofuscin, you get weaker in dealing with it, and that in turn creates more lipofuscin. <laughs> lipofuscin accumulates primarily in the lysosomes. Autophagosomes and lysosomes are not needed for forming LF, but they constitute a storage for LF aggregates. Therefore, a dysfunctional autophagy lysosomal system plays a big role in lipofuscinogenesis. Decreased and faulty autophagy promotes aging in many animals and cell models which inevitably supports lipofuscin accumulation. Impaired mitochondrial autophagy or mitophagy also contributes to the creation of lipofuscin. It's another chicken and egg problem. As you slow down autophagy, you begin to accumulate lipofuscin. This, in turn, interferes with the autophagy process and, in turn, accelerates the generation of more lipofuscin. Lipofuscin inhibits the degradation of oxidized proteins by binding to proteolytic enzymes. Taking some digestive enzyme supplements can help to break down lipofuscin. Digestive enzymes are really good for both fixing digestive problems, clearing out dead cells, and general anti-aging. If you take digestive enzymes on an empty stomach, then you break down these old worn out cells and proteins like lipofuscin. If you take them with food, then you're just digesting the food that you ate. But both ways are really good for preventing the accumulation of lipofuscin. The brand I'm using is Masszymes and they have amazing digestive enzymes. Most of the age-related diseases can be prevented with enough autophagy as a preventative tool. It's one of the best anti-aging strategies you have to not get sick in the first place and therefore keep your body youthful for longer. Here's how to avoid lipofuscin accumulation and remove it. 
Number one, intermittent fasting. Fasting is a potent stimulus for autophagy and cell cleanup. Like I said, taking some digestive enzymes on an empty stomach will speed up the clearance of these dead cells and lipofuscin. Two, keep your iron levels optimal. Normal ferritin levels range from 12 to 300 nanograms per milliliter for males and 12 to 150 nanograms for women. You can get too much iron from supplements and animal protein. Alcohol increases absorption of iron. Regular blood donations and menstruation can also lower iron. Getting more copper from liver, shellfish and chocolate helps to balance iron overload with copper. Third, calorie restriction. Eating fewer calories causes less oxidative stress, lowers iron and promotes autophagy. Four, consume autophagy boosters. There are certain autophagy boosting foods that can fight lipofuscin and incinerate visceral fats like berberine, turmeric, cayenne pepper, coffee, green tea and ginger. Manage blood sugar. High blood sugar promotes diabetes and AGE formation which oxidizes fats and proteins. Avoid PUFAs. Fish oil supplements, vegetable oils, seed oils and even oxidized omega-3s will cause lipid peroxidation and lipofuscin. These things will oxidize more easily in the presence of AGEs, heat exposure, oxidative stress and excess iron. Don't smoke. Smoking promotes oxidative stress, accelerates aging and promotes atherosclerosis. Malondialdehyde is a compound that indicates oxidative stress by smoking but it's also found in rancid and overcooked food. Malondialdehyde also causes auto-oxidation of PUFAs, so smoking plus vegetable oils is literally the worst thing for your health. Cyclodextrin, a compound used in drugs that stimulates autophagy and clears cellular junk, including lipofuscin. Vitamin E, deficient vitamin E promotes LF accumulation and it can reduce LF as well. Vitamin E also protects against the oxidation of vitamin A, which reduces lipofuscin. You should get your vitamin E from low PUFA foods, like vegetables, instead of nuts or seeds. Glutathione. Reduced glutathione leads to lipofuscin formation. You stimulate glutathione with sulfur-rich foods, like cruciferous vegetables, eggs, meat, and liposomal glutathione supplements. Creatine. Creatine has been shown to reduce free radicals and lipofuscin in the brains of rats. It also promotes cognition and muscle function. Feel how soft my skin is. Paying attention to your skin health, your digestion, your gut health, your brain function, your muscle mass, your body fat, and general inflammation levels is a good indicator of how well you're aging. If you're showing signs of inflammation and oxidative stress on your skin, then that's already too late. <laughs> you have to implement all these changes that I mentioned and try to reverse that process. At the same time, if you don't show any signs of liver spots or skin aging or any lipofuscin accumulation, then you should still do those strategies because they're going to be useful for preventing the accumulation in the first place. If you want to know how to optimize autophagy with intermittent fasting, exercise, sleep and food combining, then check out my metabolic autophagy masterclass. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.